Good afternoon, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Uh, this video is basically to let the uh, city of Welland and uh, um, the public know that the police report uh, regarding the accident on East Main and Crowland is wrong. They have determined that the gentleman on the bike swerved into the path of the car, which is wrong. Three independent witnesses watched this event. One of them actually saw the impact. And me and my wife saw the immediate, immediate aftermath. The man was still lying in the bike lane. His bike had been pushed because uh, it was in the way and he the bike was moved by... Uh, passerbyers to get it out of the way of the gentleman as he lay on the ground. The car hit the man in the bike lane. The car didn't, the biker did not swerve in front of the car. I am going to give sworn testimony. My wife will give sworn testimony. And the lady that rendered aid initially, she was first on scene there, will testify that the bike did not swerve into the traffic and the police deductions are wrong. And when that gentleman comes out of the his injury in the hospital, he will corroborate exactly what we are saying. The police uh, 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 investigation is wrong. One of us three actually literally was watching the monitor. We didn't have the big TV on. We had just these two monitors and we were literally watching these monitors. Uh, just it's entertainment. And one of us actually literally saw the impact and saw it was coming. She had, she was, she saw it coming. She even said that guy's going to get hit. And as <laughs> she said it, he got hit. The police inquiry uh, re conclusions are wrong. They are trying to smear the good name of an 87-year-old cyclist who had lights on his bike and was in the bike lane when he was hit. I'll say that one more time. The police investigation is wrong. The conclusions are wrong. Three independent witnesses that was literally watching the event as it happened will testify that he did not swerve into the bike lane, uh, out of the bike lane. He did not swerve in front of the car. The car was in the bike lane when it hit him. The car was in the bike lane when it hit him. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, in the coming days, we're going to be doing a uh, sworn depositions uh, pertaining to this incident. Um, and I got to say, the uh, police investigation conclusion are wrong. They haven't taken any witness statements from anybody or any one of us, including the person that saw it uh, happen literally. And the fact that it was uh, uh, all three of us were watching and saw the immediate in, immediate aftermath. When she said he's about to get hit, I was turning around. Uh, my wife was just looking up. And the only one who literally saw the impact was our friend Michelle. But we did see the, 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 that second we turned around, we could see he was still in the bike lane. He was not in the road. When the police came and did the investigation, the bike had been moved from the bike lane to get it away from the gentleman so that it wasn't in the way while they were trying to render aid. And the gentleman also kept trying to get up. He wasn't, he was in shock and was not aware that he had been hit. And that, that is what happened. We will swear to this and testify to this in court and take any lie detectors or anything that need to be taken. The police investigation conclusion is wrong. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we await to get here from uh, um, the police. Uh, if you are this lawyer for this gentleman that was on the bike, please get in touch with us as well. Um, and uh, we will testify to the fact that he was not in the wrong. The bike had lights on it, front and back as well. That driver was in the wrong. He was in the bike lane when he hit that car. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you guys on the next one.